The situation has been... Uh, we can restart? Okay, yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, so let's get back into the game and yeah, see so I think how they it's been fixed. Probably fix the game state to back where... Oh! Okay. I'm oh! The climax is already in play. Alright. Wow, this is a big change for... Hmm. in terms of game state. Wait. Okay. And he already... No. Oh, he, he crashed the board. Right, so... We... What? Th this... So I'm not entirely sure Is what he the still at level 2 now? No, I think it's level 3. I can see the corner of the uh, uh, card on it. So it seems like... Um, like they basically reversed a couple of it. Okay, so we're proceeding... Yep. Uh, right, oh, okay, so we've... Uh, the resolution has been that uh, instead of Sokka's uh, ability being played as an on-play ability, uh, we it's been rewinded a little bit, so uh, Hidden Squid has been ruled to play, have played a character over Sokka and then used Sokka's ability when it goes to the waiting room and paid the cost of putting a card into the clock by putting himself in. So basically, we're back to where we were in terms of the stream, except uh, Hidden Squid. Yeah, Hidden Squid has played an additional card from his hand that he had not in the original state. Yeah, yeah. that makes makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, I for think that's a pretty that's good fix. Yeah. Right. So back to where we were. That means uh, EC is on three zero with a sizable amount of stock, and the fact that he took everything there means that his deck's fairly compressed. But uh, he is one level up on his opponent and it seems like he's considering a stock encore on the 2-1 uh, Shuna. Yeah, so I think it's down to what kind of game, uh, what kind of turn plan he has here, but I don't think his hand looked very ready for playing a bunch of level 3s. In which case, paying 3 to encore here means that um, it plays around, the, yeah, it plays around the stocks off a little bit. In the case that uh, Hidden Squid hits level 3, which I think, given his compression from what we saw earlier, is quite feasible. Yeah, so from this point onwards, it seems like the, the plan we discussed, where we just uh, basically compressed with the Shuna combo, for, or a Muran combo for now, Yeah, uh, would seem like the best play. Yeah. Oh, but, but if he plays like a second a Shuna. Shuna, instead of... He had a third Muron in his hand, didn't he? I thought he did, but maybe he did not. Or maybe he doesn't want to get too many cards out of his deck. Yeah. We do see him search two counters. Probably because he's afraid of uh, getting finished from there on. We do yeah. see a sec counter, so uh, if uh, Hidden Squid is only going to planning to reverse one uh, one lane. Yeah, we can deny that. Yeah, or if he can't contest two lanes, we can deny both lanes. Maybe. Yes. Uh, it sort of depends on the attack order. But oh. Oh no, sorry. He, that's only if he wants to use one counter to deny two lanes. But he can just conventionally counter one and then use the sack counter to deny another one. So yeah, maybe this is also the play because of uh, getting two global one Ks on board. So such that. The uh, Murans are 13-5 on defense versus yeah. um, uh, the 13 that Azula usually reaches. Yeah, it's around that much. So now he doesn't actually oh, even need to use the counter, but he can use it on the middle one to avoid a reverse if he wants. And then on top of that, he can pay three. To oh, actually, no, but he, in terms of power, he just di downgraded one down to 13k. Okay, cancels that one, but he is still on two and... To yeah. six. six, so that means he can go or fi go for a finisher right now. Yeah, if he would like to, of course. Okay, that was a pretty quick decision. Up. Yeah, um, I'm actually not too sure if this game state is great for finishing. Yeah, uh, it's a bit. The w the window of winning is a bit narrow, but at yeah. the same time, I don't think Hidden Squid has that many turns after this. Like, yeah, exactly. if he can't win this turn, his odds of survival from 3-0, probably even 3-1 because of the refresh penalty that we're looking at soon, don't seem quite high. I think his odds of survival are reasonable. It's just mm. like, it's going to be hard to finish afterwards, I think. Yeah. Especially if you assume that, I think uh, EC is reasonably ca uh, compressed right now. Mm -hmm. So 
if you would deal that if you would just swing three times for two or something you're likely to stick maybe two damage yeah maybe three um but you still wouldn't be able to put him in range mm -hmm. after him healing down and stuff yeah and you're going to be taking damage up to like three five yeah. it's going to be less favorable from there on yeah it is something that you have to live with when you're playing avatar you can't delay your finisher turn when you're at level three very much because it might just be a stock swap angle, oh. though. Yeah. Um, although EC did pay three on Koi, he the whole three times and then gained two stock from. So one cool thing you can do with the Sokka is you can spawn one of those level zero red onks to kind of change it into a hand fix. Yeah. But it seems like he's getting another Sokka since he already has one of those on board. Mm -hmm. So from here on, you just need to salvage one of the Azulas probably? Probably, yeah. It's going to be very hard to finish with the, with the double counter in hand over there though. Mm -hmm. It's like one of your attacks can become a hit for eight. It could. And one of the, one of the lanes can be protected by sacrificing, or uh, not really protecting, yeah. but like you sacrifice with the Rimuru counter. Mm -hmm. But uh, unless, uh, unless Hidden Squid Uses a stock swap here. I doubt EC is in any kind of danger at the moment. Yeah, I don't think he's anywhere near dying at this point. No. So I'm not too sure how this game is going to finish. Yeah. So we're currently waiting on, oh, waiting to see if uh, Hyun Squid's going to play top Melon Lord to uh, pull out. What's that? Eight cards from EC's deck. It's called Top Melon Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's kind <called> of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the strongest line from here, and then hopefully heal down to three zero. Yeah. I'll probably survive from there. Push a little bit more damage because after stock swapping, I think it's reasonably likely that damage will stick. Mm -hmm. So then. But it seems like he's grabbing one of the level zero blue onks. That's a unusual card to grab here. Yeah, maybe his deck state is just not in a not in a good place. So he wants to mill Red, a little bit further. And, and he blue. does oh hit though. Gosh. This is the third, fourth? It's like three and four, yeah. That he's succeeded on. Yeah, it's crazy. And he can yeah. he's and he grabbing can another one. <laughs> he's grabbing not really, okay. Just keep chaining them. Oh, and he can also uh, clock swap his uh, his two one on into his clock right now. But yeah, it yeah. doesn't seem like he's going for that. Hmm, okay, he plays on Azul. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. you no heal it away anyway, no so it, okay, it doesn't okay. really matter. And then a climax swap, okay. shuffling probably shuffling back a couple of Sokas. I'd imagine so. Yeah. However. Um, he might be needing one of the two one onks as well, just because like yeah. your finishing reach isn't very high because Azula can only sac can't reverse any lanes. Yeah, because we know that there's a sec counter in uh, in EC's hand. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But he's not stamping out anything. He's not shuffling back anything. Yeah. There's the melon lord. I wonder what this line means. Usually you would shuffle back at least something, right? I think it just because he had two cards in deck as well. Like by shuffling back, he puts an additional climax back. Is this because he wants to keep compression? I think it's better to uh, possibly. I'm not really sure. It's also interesting that he grabbed the brainstorm off the top three, and then just didn't play it as opposed to. Getting um, another copy of the level three Azula for future turn because I'd imagine that if that brainstorm hits, he's just gonna get another Azula anyway. So mm. okay, so that cancels. I assume in this case you would always still do the Rimuru counter. Um. Yeah. You're kind of forced into yeah. it, right? Otherwise, you, you just yeah. open yourself up to too many... Yeah, you run, run the risk of 
losing, even if it's a slim chance. Yep. Pays the additional one, sends Shino to the waiting room. And also gives minus one soul, so it's only yep. for three. Yeah. Or uh, two. Four it should two. be two, right? Yeah. He doesn't actually have to target the battling yeah. character. So if he wants it to stay that way, but for a slightly better chance of cancelling, that's also an option. But cancel on top anyway, no big deal. Okay. So he stays at 3 2. Yeah, I'd imagine he's not going to use the sockets, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, would be, <laughs> that, that would be a pretty ballsy move. Uh, uh, in house. So. He's is a 3 1. 3 1. Ah, oh, 3 2. Oh, so 3 1 on the left, 3 2 on the right. Yeah. I think it's a reasonable chance to survive from here. He has 6 stock available for next turn, so. Maybe he can heal down with a few Azulas. Yeah. Also baited the, the Rimuru counter out at least. Mm -hmm. So it won't be available for next turn unless he finds a way, unless EC finds a way to find uh, another copy of it. Mm -hmm. Or the same copy, actually. It's a good. Is there a good angle? So I don't think there's any level threes in uh, EC's hand there. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. And the brainstorm searches as well. Or yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'd imagine he wants to heal down a bit here. Yeah, both of his or two of his level threes are already in his clock. Yeah, those are not healers, regardless. Yeah. Um. But it would be nice to have something uh -huh. available yeah. from here. So there's one heal. One of his three healers are on the stage already, mm -hmm. and. The other two, they're not in his hands. I haven't been following closely where they are, but... Yeah, it's been hard with the judge call in between as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, as well. For sure. But... He could go through his deck with a Brainstorm to search it if he really wants. And he does hit two brain two climaxes off of his brainstorm, so he can search in his new deck even. Oh, okay. That's a bit risky though, because if he Yeah. It, you know, that was a forty percent chance of just having a climax on the bottom. It's one of my classic uh, what would you do here? Yeah. Two and five. Two and Will five. you brainstorm? Such brainstorm. Yeah. It's it's what? Uh, forty percent to just yeah, it's hit nothing. to hit to, to hit one and not be able to search anything. Yep. Yeah. Which I guess like it still puts a card back, but Yeah. It's uh, it's not where you want to be usually. Yeah. And we see him shaking a little bit. Wait. It's he uh. He moved to. Is Shuna to the front? What? Mm. Does that mean he what? He's contemplating searching. Sh no. Okay. So. Yeah. He's contemplating searching the the Millum level three. Yeah. He's already at three three. And it doesn't seem like he can heal down too much. So maybe that makes sense in a bit. In a way. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like he's trying to push for game using the level 3 Melon. Uh, the Paragonoid, which uh, can deal one damage on play and kick the clock, which it should have enough power for against uh, Zula, which is only 10 it's 5, I believe? 10 5 right yeah. now, I think, yeah. Does he have enough power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. 11 5. And I don't think. Avatar usually has a lot of com uh, counters to pump it out of range. Yeah. Uh, I do think this list had one, but I'm not yeah, too sure. Yeah, so there's one copy of uh, Toph and Aang Earthbending Lessons in this deck. Right. Uh, which is actually a sack counter as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hid if Hidden Squid has that kind of hand, which I think we saw it earlier, but I can't remember if it was in his hand. At that point, it wasn't in his hand. Yeah. Uh, I think we saw him clock it at some point. But yeah, he does have a single copy of this counter, which he can use to dodge a reverse. And we see a cancel on the first four, burn for three. Four, four here. Okay. And another cancel. Cancel for two, three. Wow, all right. He does cancel a lot here, so it seems like he might be living One, for another two. turn. Wow. wow. Okay, that's pretty good. But uh, he pays three to shoot the uh, Zula the clock, so he can't pay three on court and use it as a another push for next turn. So if we can find another uh, standby climax and another Azula, I assume he didn't have two Azulas last turn. Yeah. So we're going to have to dig deeply for this one. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't think... It doesn't seem like he has a Brainstorm on board at the moment either, so... He does have one in hand, though, that he added... I believe that he... Wait, did I say that? Oh, no, that's his waiting room, okay. Yeah, that's five Planxes in his waiting room. I believe so. Yeah. So, it might be hard to finish from here. There's a lot of standbys left in deck, though, so... Yeah. Oh. So play it. Oh, play he's doing Earth the overplay soft? trick. Okay, so... So, he's going to clock any card from his waiting room into his clock. Yeah. And then using the... Well, what's her name? Uh, Suki, I believe her name yeah, is. Yeah, Suki. Right, right, right. Using Suki's, Suki's ability, he can get that specific card to his hand again. Yeah, and it looks like he put in the uh, early play Ang, yeah, uh, which no. can add a card from the top X cards of your deck on play, where X is the number of characters you have. No, no, no. He put in the, the bounce Ang. Oh, sorry. No, that is the bounce Ang. Yeah, sorry. They're both levels. So you can draw one and discard one and bounce a card from your opponent's stage. In which in this, this case, case, it has, has to, to be Shuna, Shuna right? right? Yeah. And that's going to be... But that does reduce the power of his characters by 2,000 each. I do think it's the only card that draws a card. So maybe he's just desperately digging to standby? No, wait. He also has the other arm that does check top 5, right? Uh, so in the deck, yes. Oh. And he draws... A 2-1 on. So we won't be able to uh, to do the standby probably. I wonder what his play will be now. He does have the standby in hand though. Okay. Right. Okay, so with now no rest uh no sack counter. Uh, oh. No assist. I think he's able to scale over that. So he lane. grabbed the Ong and Momo for to bounce the Shuna, so that he could uh, make oh, okay. make the lane or uh, immune to yeah, counters. counters. Right. Okay. So the first hit cancelled, and now we're swinging in for three. If this sticks, it's going to be oh, and it's a cancel. But then, but then we're going to have this entire domino effect with oh, okay, that that's a solid cancel spell. That's but a lot of good cancels. Yeah. So but now we're going to see Soka in play, getting another card from his deck. Yeah. Overplaying the Suki. other Soka, going over another card, or grabbing another card from his deck and getting another attack in on the open lane as well. Mm -hmm. He still needs to deal four damage from here. And he's got a direct, so that's 2 2 and 1. So he. Assuming there's a trigger somewhere, he needs to land two attacks. But there's only three climaxes out on uh, EC's side, so it might be very hard to finish from here. Yeah. And it seems like the deck size is large enough to not. Oh, and there's another standby. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. right. You, you can't do more Soka yeah. combos since you're. Yeah, otherwise that would you, you end your own <laughs> tournament run. Yeah. Yep. So front dive for two. Another swing for two. I think EC still has the other counter that yeah. does plus six. So but I think uh, he opted to just take this one because if th this one doesn't trigger, then it's not enough to win the game anyway. Yeah, he doesn't win this turn. But he might be able to survive still? No, it's going to be very hard. I imagine that's not happening, <laughs> but... Well, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure yeah. the two are <laughs> keen to play it out. It was a very close game at both both players at 3-6. Yeah. Definitely a nail-biter in those last few turns. Absolutely. Oh, and then uh, he's going to use the Veldor to probably oh, get the level 3 get Dragonoid the again. maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and Dragonoid Miller. Does it play reveal? It? How cut is? Ah, it's not climax. A, it's not a character, so it does not burn one, but yeah. it does have the, the Millen to clock shoot uh, yes. if he manages to reverse one of Hidden Squid's characters. Yeah. Shouldn't be. He also has a side for one angle because of the guaranteed soul there, so. And oh. It does seem like he's going for a side for one, okay, and okay. the game is over. Yeah, this game is over, all right. Oof. It was a very close game. Mm -hmm. So we had a small hiccup there, but that got rectified pretty cleanly. And yeah, the, those last few turns, as you said, were pretty breathtaking. <laughs> like, yeah, both of them kind of skipping level two yeah. into the level three, and then both of them having like 
very very scary turns and yeah. cancels on both sides yeah. but still hanging on with the skin of their teeth kind of situation yeah yeah it was a good a good decision on EC's yeah. side for uh, to find that sacrifice counter on mm, the yeah. Kimura counter absolutely and also from um, from Hidden Squid's side to get the bounce so he can give the ability to the opponent's character and get a guaranteed reverse yeah it yeah. seemed like they were they were playing around each other perfectly yeah yeah like they were definitely both in first, the first baiting out one of the sacrifice counters and then <laughs> trying to go for his real finish yeah yeah was a pretty, uh, you know, nail, nail by the game, and it was, uh, I think, one very worthy of the last round of Swiss. Yeah. So uh, I think we're going to be cutting to the break. And after this, we will be getting our top eight cut. Yep. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Mm-hmm. We we'll will be back see shortly. You